yeah, we're launching Fantasy Fund Manager um, from a Korean perspective. The point is, is that off the back of that, that engagement is driven. How do we engage and get education out there? How do we get the next level? And that is Fantasy Fund Manager. So we think what we've got there is is a platform where people can start learning and educating and really start growing the investor base in South Africa in football markets. So um, it's it's a simple competition. You're picking six shares from six sectors. It's a six-month competition starting at the beginning of A performance. And what we also want to do is have our partners are going to give insight and engagement to people who are playing in the competition who who have engaged. And there's prize money. There's a monthly prize, six one-month um, competitions, as well as the cumulative six-month competition. Okay, so six shares, six sectors, six months. Correct. And anybody can enter? Anybody can enter, and you can establish leagues, so there can be leagues against each other. What we've wanted to do is it's gamifying investments. And we think that from a financial services perspective, we also need to shake things up. It's not just about this enigmatic industry out there. It's actually quite easily accessible. And we're hoping that this game brings a lot and lot more eyeballs into the market. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Once again, I think it's, it's incumbent on financial services to grow our overall industry and improve savings. And hopefully this is the part of that, you know, get some education out there again. We'll be talking today about uh, a brand new game that anybody can enter. And in fact, it's going to keep us very occupied for the next six months. It's called the Fantasy Fund Manager. Nothing to do with football or rugby. It's all about shares. Gareth Montano is uh, director of Corian Capital. And Gareth, seriously, if I'd known you were going to wear your glasses, I'd have worn mine. We look like, <laughs> no, we don't quite look like <laughs> twins in, in that way. Well, it's a, what a good day. Uh, we now, we did talk about the Fantasy Fund Manager at the Biz News Conference very briefly. Uh, there was a lot of excitement amongst the delegates, but now we're taking the wraps off uh, our, our big game that's going to keep us uh, excited and occupied over the next six months. We've been playing uh, is as uh, test uh, tubes, I suppose, what would you call it? Mm, I suppose crash test dummies. There haven't been too many crashes, so it seems like everything's on, on track. Yeah, a, a few dummies, no no crashes just yet, but yeah, very exciting. Um, you know, as you said, we, we, we did allude to it at the business conference, but it is now nearing time for official launch. And yeah, we've, we've, we've been working on this for some time and we think we've got brilliant partners to get involved in an exciting new concept. Why in the first place? Why is this game uh, being launched? And apologies, we also have load shedding here in Hermanus. So Alec, uh, the, the primary driver is, is really around educating and getting new market participants involved in, in financial markets generally. Um, you know, Corian and I think the partners that we've partnered with here in Biz News as our, our you know, our, our media partner and then our platinum sponsors, which I'm sure we'll touch on a bit later. I think everyone is is passionate about educating, um, improving financial literacy. There is, you know, a lot of media coverage around a dire savings problem we have in South Africa. And I think education is a big part of what we've got to do to get the, the next level of investors involved in, in, in financial services, get educated and get understanding how important savings is. And I, you know, in, in mixing and marrying a game and, you know, an educational concept around investing, we're very excited about, about the people that we can reach. I, I was fascinated by what Pitful Yun said, because I thought, here's a deep value investor. And I asked him at the conference, would you be participating? He said, hell yes. Uh, it's it's fun and it is a very good thing that you you just have a little taste of what the share market is about. Of course, your strategies are going to be very different to long term investing, but it it opens eyes to an area where maybe many people or people who are going to participate would not otherwise have delved. Yes, and I think I think the financial services industry as a whole, we obviously a highly regulated industry, and there's there's often impediments to how we market relative to some of the less mainstream concepts. But I, I think that shouldn't stop us from, from pushing the bounds a little bit. And I think that's what we've done here is we've, we've tried to create a simple interface 
to allow people access to to markets that they're often afraid of in a fun way you get to to have a look and invest in companies get to compete against friends families peers and even against professionals the likes of of pets so we we think we're ticking all the boxes but the the most important thing is really to to demystify and try and help decode investing we we you know we see a lot of uh, you know whether it be the crypto market, which just gained massive traction in the retail mass, a lot of people exposing money and investing, and you know we've got a very evolved financial services industry in South Africa. We've got an unbelievable, we've got unbelievable exchanges now, not just one exchange, and we we're hoping that we we're going to get a lot more people interested in the stock market. Yeah, you know, in a couple of books that I have written, uh, looked at the equity market and shares and investing in shares. And the way it, it came across to me was that it's really the biggest game on earth, if you think about it, uh, because anyone can participate. Nowadays, you can buy uh, through Easy Equities, for instance, at 10 Rand, uh, you can actually buy some shares. And it's every company or any company anywhere in the world that decided, decides to go public, you can be a shareholder in it. So it's this this whole new world for many people, and one that uh, if you participate in it, you get better. And I guess a good place to start is fantasy for a fund manager. But I know there's a lot of licensing involved and a lot of software involved. Where did you guys pick up uh, the the back end, the tech? So. Here yeah, we, as a as friends and as a business, which which Corian is, we we've participated in quite a lot of fantasy um, games from fantasy World Cup, fantasy football, fantasy Tour de France, and it was actually through a fantasy Tour de France game that we played for many years that we 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 ended up engaging with software providers, South African business. And and we've interacted with them, and they've, you know, it, it, again, what is really important is the simplified application, a simple interface. There's nothing that you know any any person can go and pick the six shares that you're going to via your mobile app, or web browser. And I think the the art in this is simplification, is to to not make it a convoluted trading system. It's a simple picking exercise. With some education around it that we hope hope people will learn. So I've gone in obviously, and so have you know, well. I'm not as uh, as au fait as you are on it, but it's it's really basic. You go, you 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 sign up. Um, you then ask to pick six shares, uh, but you start with each sector. And in the first sector, you're given a list of various shares to pick. I guess if you look at it from the outside, you'd think, well, it's it's a little bit like the monkey throwing darts uh, at a at a newspaper uh, share price page, uh, because if you get lucky, you can win. Or is there skill involved here? How how, how would you uh, be skillful in this way, given that equities move in strange ways sometimes? Yeah, yeah, and I, can, I think there is no doubt there's going to be a bit of luck involved given the time frame of the competition. So, you know, the, the, there's there's a number of competitions from a weekly to a monthly to the major competition, which is six months. But any equity or share market participant is going to tell you shares are investing for long term, and short term fluctuations are driven by many factors. You know, local, uh, global, exogenous factors. So there will be luck, but what we're trying to really expose is the fact that it is quite simple for you to go and pick sectors, pick shares. People are often afraid to invest, but investing is as simple as maybe you think that a telecoms company is great and you know people are logging onto their phones all the time. Go and bo- buy a Vodafone, buy an MTN, buy a telecom. It's, it's here to show you how simple it is and how easy it is to pick shares. And over and above that, what we've also done is created a, a series of animated videos, which give basic principles of investing, describing some ways on how to value a company in short sound bits. Um, we think they are, 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 are succinct and, and really get a message across. So it's the fun of a game, but we're also really hoping to educate. So once you go and 
make your pick. Is that the share that you have for the full six months or can you change it? No, again, and I, uh, th- this speaks to definitely some of the purists and I think, you know, Pitt even mentioned it, you know, long-term investing. You are able to change your shares here. So so the, the format of the game is that you pick your six shares on day one. And as I mentioned earlier, there is a weekly competition, monthly, and then the six-month grand prize. Obviously, to be eligible for the six-month grand prize, you need to have been there from the outset. However, you are able, once you've entered, to change your shares on a weekly basis. And you're also able to participate in the weekly and monthly competitions, even if you miss the start of the competition. So there's something for everyone. There's something for the early birds and the guys who are really enthusiastic or who've got their eye on the big prize. But then also, as we go along, you know, people who want to come in and out of the competition, there's still incentive along the way. Okay, so you are going to select a share, but you know you don't have to hold that one for six months, and you, you'll have you'll have one in in the six different sectors. So, if, for instance, you go with you use telecoms earlier, MTN, and uh, their share price is under a little bit of pressure, and you look around and you think, mm, I see the news coming out of Ghana is not so good, and Nigeria is not great. I can switch from there having done a little bit of work maybe on Vodacom and into Vodacom, which is also listed in that telecom sector. But I can only do that once a week. So the Correct. day that I switch, uh, unfortunately, as far as my portfolio is concerned, having had MTN for the period where it might not have performed that well, that gets logged uh, into my portfolio. Uh, but now I, I switch onto another one for the period thereafter. Are you expecting that there's going to be a lot of switching? I think there will be. We've tried to strike the balance of uh, the reality of an actual trading program where you can trade in and out on an intraday basis or end-of-day basis to a weekly rebalance. And what we want to do is we want to try and take as much concentration benefit as away as possible. We don't want someone picking one share that goes an almighty run to decide on weekly, monthly, and even the six-month competition. Hence the need for one share from each of the six sectors, equally weighted so that there's also going to be a balance because we do believe in constructing a portfolio. We really, you know, maybe going a bit far here in the introduction, but you want you want a bit of diversification. You want to spread your risk. We don't want it to turn into a single bet. So we're trying to drive a bit of diversification, equal weighting of shares. And the ability to rebalance on a weekly basis. So it does give people who are, you know, spending time, who are educating themselves, who recognize that they want to switch, whether they've made a mistake or there's a better opportunity, they can do so. But always drive and keep the simplification of the game to really keep more participants engaged. But we're going to have a lot of fun looking at the stocks uh, because they're, well, six sectors. How many stocks in each sector that you can pick from? 10, 10 stocks per, per sector. So we've got 60 shares that we're going to be having, we're going to be keeping tabs on and talking about every week to, to just say, well, hang on, you know, this, this uh, stock has come down a little bit. This one's really on a good run. These are the reasons why. Uh, I suppose in the same way as football players and rugby players and the Tour de France cyclists are in form and others are falling out of form, uh, it helps you in that way to to keep your finger on the pulse of the stock market. Definitely. And and what we've also tried to achieve through the game, through Biz News as a partner, is to to have interaction. So we're going to have a a weekly report back on the the you know the rankings in leaderboard, the main leaderboards, uh the best performing shares, who's picked what shares, percentages, you know, invested in different shares. So people can get insight as to what peers are doing and then also get, you know, get word from the the professionals themselves. Our sponsors uh, get insight as to what they think are, are good picks, what they're looking at in the market. So we're really trying to engage as much as possible. So even if you aren't playing, you're going to get a heck of a lot of information, uh, but there's no, there's no cost to play. You know, nobody has to actually pay us anything for this. There's absolutely no cost, and the the exciting thing is over and above the fun 
and pride in beating a co-worker or a family member or friend, there is 100,000 rands worth of prizes up for grabs. So you, you're not only paying, you're paid to play yourself. You mentioned that, beat a co-worker or a friend. Can you uh, devise your own leagues as you can do in other fantasy games? 100%. It's, uh, it's, it was one of the, the features that we really wanted. So you can create a league and then you can invite via WhatsApp, um, et cetera, you, anyone to your league. And it's as simple as subscribing and, and going through. So you'll be able to go through Biz News. Um, we'll have banners up and running. There's obviously a website, fantasyfundmanager.co.za. And yeah, it's, it's, we, we, we want that competition. That, that's the exciting, that's the fun part in learning. We've got literally thousands of people who are members of our WhatsApp groups for premium. I guess we're going to have to start uh, some new WhatsApp groups for our free-to-air, much bigger <laughs> audience, and see if we can have uh, some of those leagues and we'll have a Biz News champion and we can put the Biz News champion against the Korean champion. Uh, lots, of, lots of fun coming from that. But you did mention the other sponsors. Can you take us through them and, and why they're involved? Yeah, so I mean, obviously, you know, yourselves, Biz News are a, the, the media partner, and I think we share, you know, common goals in educating and and providing information to to our clients and, and audiences. So, you know, first and foremost, thanks thanks to Biz News for the partnership, and then we've we've got full platinum sponsors. Uh, we've got two boutique asset managers who we as Korean rate very highly, um, and then two two platform businesses. So it's actually four sponsors, but almost two groupings. So from the asset managers, we've got Klukas Gray. Um, Klukas Gray have, have been on on, uh, on, on Biz News many times in, and Andrew Vincent. And they're a, an exceptional you know, boutique equity house who, who've done really well. Then there's Terabinth. Um, you know, Eric Null is a, a fixed income specialist, and they've moved more into the multi-asset space now. But really, uh, you know, a, an exciting and growing boutique asset manager in South Africa. And then we've got ShareNet, which many many of, of the investment community will know. You know, ShareNet's been around for a long time. Started as a subscription market data service, but have spent a lot of money building out their systems, and now are a broad-based financial services offering advice and, and asset management, as well as being able to to trade in local and global markets. And then finally, Money Better, which is a new marketplace offering by a more of an institutional business called DMA. And they're also a, a global, global execution business where you can invest in stocks, uh, unit trusts, in South Africa and globally, and they've they've looking to create a marketplace matching institutional advisors and retail investors. So exciting businesses, technology enabled businesses, and businesses that we think are also very, very passionate about education, which is the the common thread here. Yeah, and we we are certainly going to learn a heck of a lot more about those businesses as we go forward. ShareNet, as you say, is very well known, the best data supplier in South Africa for. And they've been around for sure uh, 30, 40 years, I think now. And it's 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 uh, interesting to hear that they've now broadened their base. But when you want to participate, how are you going to sign up? Where do you start? Oh, so very simple. As I said, you can go via Biz News. There, are, there, there will be banners or fantasyfundmanager.co.za. And it is as simple as signing up, giving your cell phone number, um, going in via a Google sign-in or a Facebook sign-in. And there's also the ability to invite people when you've created your own league once you've subscribed yourself. So we have really tried to every length to make this whole process as seamless and painless as possible. And when can you start signing up? So the game will start um, the, the, the beginning, the beginning of, of next month, and you will be able to start signing up fr from uh, the, this video is airing Monday, I understand. You'll be able to start signing up and getting going and selecting your shares. Obviously, only when the game goes live all the shares that you select come into place and they will take place as the, the previous market closing down the Friday. That is the, the price that you will be entering into and then and then the game will begin. So it's mid-April and uh, when you can start signing up, you begin, the game begins itself in the beginning of May and then we've Correct. got a six-month run where we're going to learn a heck of a lot about those 60 stocks. 
Uh, and we expect uh, um, there to be movements in the prices as we get close to results days, for instance, as they do in the United States. There they've got quarterlies. Here we have every six months. Uh, although there are a few, there are a few uh, international stocks that you can buy there that are listed uh, locally on yep. the JSC. I see you, you only stuck with JSC listed companies. Any ideas on bringing other exchanges in later? Yeah, look, I think this is the, the first foray. We are excited by the opportunity and hopefully there will be a number of participants. And as with anything, there's evolution. So, you know, this is the first, this is our first game. Uh, it's been a concerted effort amongst all of us. Um, and and we, I'm sure we're going to make mistakes, but I'm sure we'll learn a lot and have a lot of fun along the way. And who knows where we will go to from other exchanges. But, you know, we the, the, the simplification and gamification of what we're trying to do often leads you to the least outcomes to start, and we can always see how we can expand that. And once you're in, once you're in the app, once you're in the uh, the back end, that's where you'll find the edutainment, as we uh, as as you've termed it, uh, where you have the the information on not only how you play, but also a little bit more on how to value things. Correct. So there's the, the, the website is a mobile-friendly website, so you'll be able to access it off your mobile or on your browser. Uh, in the menu, there is an edutainment tab, which is going to have our, our sequence of videos. There's a, a Twitter news feed, which is going to be bringing in any insights or any, you know, any information that we feel pertinent to the game, pertinent to the shares, or any views from our sponsors or other market participants that we think are going to be helpful to the audience. Obviously, being able to monitor your portfolio, seeing the returns of your portfolio of the individual shares in the portfolio, and then the league monitoring. So you can go and check how the global leagues are looking, any leagues that you create yourself, and then the you know weekly weekly one pager newsletter, really giving the highlights of top performers, both from a, a player perspective, share perspective, and participants. Well, Gareth, it's a uh, a fantastic initiative. We are absolutely delighted to be part of it and uh, and feel very privileged to have been brought in uh, with all the work that has gone into this on the back end, but all the exciting uh, develop work that's going to carry on from here. Because as a as a potential share market investor, this is a way to get involved. This is a way to get your hands on the information that the experts have, and then more so. So it is really a opportunity for you to compete, but also to learn and to have a lot of fun at the same time. Gareth Montano is a director of Korean Capital. I'm Alec Hogg from businessnews.com.